So today I'm talking about a P0701 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0701 code? Well, it's a transmission control system range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically a P0701 code is a generic code that the computer sets when it sees a problem with the transmission. And the exact reason why the code gets set can vary a bit between manufacturers and vehicle, year, make, model, things like this. But usually a P0701 code is set when the computer detects that's not maintaining the correct gear ratio. And one thing to note about this code is that very likely you're going to be getting other codes. Be sure to pay attention to those other codes because those can help point you to what the problem is. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0701 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. If the transmission fluid's low or if it's really dirty, then that can cause problems. So first thing to do, if possible, is go and check the transmission fluid and be sure it's correct. Well, some vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, it's a good idea to go and check it and be sure that it's good. If the transmission fluid is really dirty, then that can also cause problems. There's also a transmission filter that's built into the transmission that can become clogged up and things like this, and that can also cause problems. One thing to mention is that a lot of people, when they get a code like this P0701, they go down, they get the transmission fluid all replaced, along with the filter inside of there and things like this. And then like a week later, they get a whole bunch of transmission codes. And basically, if the transmission has really high mileage and that fluid has never been changed, replacing all the fluid can quite often trigger a whole bunch of other codes. If the fluid has been changed when it's supposed to and the transmission maintained correctly, then usually this isn't a problem. If you do have a transmission like this that has really high mileage and the fluid has never been changed, usually it's best just to change out the fluid that's inside the pan along with the filter and don't do a complete flush. Be sure to do some research on this, on your particular transmission and things along these lines, since opinions will vary. But the first thing that's going to cause this is low or dirty transmission fluid. The next thing that could cause this is what's called a transmission range sensor. This can also go by different names. On some vehicles, it's called a neutral safety switch, or it could be called a gear position sensor, or something along those lines. But basically, whatever it's called, is it just reports back to the computer what gear the transmission's in. And so if the sensor goes bad or it's having some kind of problem, then it might be reporting bad information back to the computer. So for example, the vehicle's driving in second gear. It might be in second gear, but the sensor's having some kind of problem. So it just reports that the transmission's in third gear. When it's not, it's actually in second gear. There's something along those lines. Usually if this happens, you'll get another code, like for example, P0705, Transmission Range Sensor Circuit. So in this case, if you were getting this P0705 code, along with the P0701, then it's a good idea to go do some tests on that transmission range sensor and be sure it's working, because the next thing that could cause this is a bad transmission range sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is some other sensors gone bad, like a bad shift solenoid, a bad clutch solenoid, or you know, something along those lines. Again, usually if this happens, you're gonna get another code, so for example, if you also got like a P0722 code, output speed sensor circuit, then in that case, it's a good idea to go test that output speed sensor along with the wiring going to it. Because if there is some kind of issue with that output speed sensor, then that could be throwing everything off and then triggering this P0701. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad transmission sensor. And the next thing that's going to cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the transmission. There's like a bad shift solenoid, a bad valve body, a bad converter clutch, something along those lines. For example, if there's a bad shift solenoid B, which is usually for second gear, then that's going to cause problems. Again, usually you get another code like this P0755, shift solenoid B, but the next thing that could cause this is a faulty transmission. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad computer, like a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module. And this isn't going to be too common, but it does happen sometimes. One thing to mention with these computers is that if you do think you have a computer problem, be sure that your battery is good. You can even check the alternator output and be sure it's charging correctly. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply along with a good ground or else that could just throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. It's also a good idea to go check for any computer related fuses because a blown fuse is going to cause problems. Usually if a computer fuse does blow, then you're going to get a lot of codes, but it's a good idea to go check for any blown fuses because the next thing that could cause this is a bad computer. And the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem, mainly the wiring going from the computer, like the transmission control module and the transmission. Basically, keep in mind that if there's any kind of open, short, bad connection, anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So the last thing on the list is going to be a wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0701 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.